ESPN High School Football Showcase, and welcome to Georgia. It is hard to find a seat tonight at Mill Creek High School, the pass list forever long, because we're expecting college coaches. Some NFL players in the house tonight from national and state power, Buford, the number six team in the country, the 14-time Georgia champs against Mill Creek, the reigning champions in the state of Georgia. Here comes the team that has the number one quarterback in the country, Dylan Riola, against a star-studded Mill Creek team that's trying to stay undefeated and atop their region tonight. In his first year as the full-time starter. And Robinson hits the second level, and he's down. The Mill Creek's defense got him the ball in a three and out. Now on a third down, Robinson hit in the backfield, and he can't escape. Chris Garland came in to clean him up from the secondary. With Brady Lane from 36. And the opening points of the night come from the field goal from 36 yards out for Brady Lane. With it being wet for Riola. Off of the play fake. He was accurate, but it's through the hands of Devin Williams. The gloves are off with the rain flying down. Still Twitter. All right still twitter.com when you go in the browser. Here's Dylan Riola taking his first deep shot, and KJ Bolden can't come up with it. And back to the run game with Blackwell, and they have their first positive yards of the night, but it's still going to be third down and long. Late in this first quarter. Mill Creek's defense trying to force a third straight three and out. Mets Almost got home, and Riola puts it on the money for a first down. First first down of the night for Riola, and he throws another deep ball and drops it in, but it was juggled at the end of it. And they will say catch for Bolden. Riola away from pressure, and runs himself and has a first down. And Ventura with a big leg knocks it through to tie the game at three. And there's Jamal Lewis. And he stays in. Throg Martin to throw on second down. And he connects with Greco behind the Buford defense for a big hitter. He's trying to give Mill Creek the lead back. Another deep ball and drops that one in there. It's Greco again. Not surprising they'd want to come see this one. Uh, Throg Martin under center, first play of the second quarter. And the quarterback sneak has him in for a touchdown. After the loss of two, Riola on the move, has it complete to Broughton. And one of the stars of last week's win with his first big play from Riola. Well, certainly this Buford offense kind of playing to its strengths between this year and last year's group. A fake to Baker. Riola with a wide open receiver and a touchdown. Ty White for six. And a draw play for Robinson. He bounces it outside and Robinson with the shoulders down. Drives ahead across the 40 with a first down. Big time thunder from Cam Robinson to extend the drives. James Madison commit. And pressure again for Throg Martin, and what a catch across the middle. First down and more for Justin Content. The third and nine here. Underneath, and Content will not break away. Uh, Banks was one of the guys there, and Javen Bennett helped finish him off. The pressure on Riola, and he is sacked with a helmet flying off. It was called last try. It was an official's timeout, so still three for Buford, and that's a first down with Allen getting out of bounds. Close game again in the first half with Riola at quarterback. And over the middle, he buzzes it in there, complete for a first down to the tight end, Cooper Berry. Mill Creek defense without the Notre Dame commit, Cole Mullins. Out with a broken leg. And Riola into traffic, and that is caught. Riola out of pressure, and he throws. Touchdown! Ty White gives Buford the lead.
score game potentially. Mill Creek still on the march looking for a tie score and Greco is smothered. KJ Bolden up from the secondary. Yeah, but they're just able to win up front with those players in the box. So Mill Creek getting the ball first out of halftime and the muff punt and Mill Creek gets new life on the special teams turnover. So free extra possession for Mill Creek. And Throgmartin off play action. They do take a shot. And Throgmartin connects. And Robinson barreling off a tackler. Is in for a touchdown. He's motivated by tonight. He wants to be the number one tackle in the country without question when this is over. And then he got hot. Led Buford to the lead. And on third down. Riola trying to run away from Metz and he gets out of the tackle and Riola has the first down. And Buford continues. Riola throws underneath to White, slips it in there and he's on the gas. Ty White across midfield with the first down. Riola converted on third down with his legs earlier on the drive. Through the air here and on target to Harkness for a first down. A look into the flat. Riola. Oh, what a catch for Allen. Probably. I think we're down here. You want to be able to say, hey, we could push it in. Uh, fight for the goal line, and Metz makes the tackle on McCoy. On fourth down and goal. And the ball is fumbled. A bad snap. And Mill Creek with a goal line stand. Really decisive thrower. His best receivers coming out of the slot. Goes to him. It's Greco. And Greco off a tackle. And Greco finishes forward to the first down. Oh, see off that pressure here if they feed it. Uh, he's still coming. Robinson runs away from it on a tough night for the running game. Robinson breaks out for a first down. The winner would be in the driver's seat to win the region. And the Throg Martin on the first play of this quarter. Out to Greco in the Georgia Tech commit. Venge game from last year when they lost by 12 to Buford. Looking for the lead here and Greco in the end zone. Was he in bounds? Yes, he was. What a catch for the future Yellow Jacket. And Mill Creek has the lead. As he's going down to concentration, Gets that left hand out there, right on the point of the football. Smallest part of the football brings it into his body, secures the catch. That's pretty. <laughs> Look at that guy. I don't know who that guy was, but he was impressed. Go <laughs> just gave Mill Creek the lead with a touchdown. Raiola moving the pocket and drops. In that receiver coming inside misses the block, takes a poor angle, allows number 24, Asir McCoy, just a step right in front. You're going to see the inside receiver. He's going to be taxed with having to block him. He takes a poor angle, allows Asir, who reads it beautifully. Well, they got a couple of commits in his game. Third and seven. Riola back into the pressure, and down he goes. Very good communicator. Handing off again. And Robinson. Off two tackles and still surges through, and he's close to the marker. 38. They got and him. they did. Look like here they may feed it again to Robinson. They do, and Robinson looks like he's getting stronger as the night goes on. Close to the first down, third and short. Brady Lane's hit one, he's missed one. Throg Martin to throw. And that is caught. That's a go ahead touchdown. Justin Content breaks away. A clean pocket. Now it closes. Metz forced it out in Riola with a guy all over him, completes it to Jordan Allen. Maybe we'll get fireworks before that. Here's Raiola on the move, throwing deep downfield, and that ball is broken up. 
Durante Broughton the intended target and it was the Georgia Tech commit Trajan Greco breaking it up. Yeah, they're two best defenders there Trajan Greco and Jaden Patterson. Hey join us on the app we'll get you out to NBA preseason on ESPN 2.